each different type of tracheostomy tube tends to be designed to perform a, a specific function. Tubes come in different shapes and sizes, and that's mainly because different patients have different sized tracheas. Some tracheostomy tubes also come in different lengths. Some patients will have a greater amount of tissue on the outside of the trachea, so it's important to have tubes that allow for that. Cuffless tube is useful because it allows some airflow through the upper airway. It's also a simple tube. It's safer. If it becomes obstructed, the patient can potentially breathe through their normal upper airway. Cuff tube has a balloon which we can inflate and that allows us to uh, ventilate patients down it without all the air leaking out around the outside of the tube. It can also be useful in reducing aspiration of oral contents, potentially when somebody's swallow isn't as great as we'd like it to be. We have inner cannulas in tracheostomy tubes to try and prevent complete tracheostomy obstruction. If we can just change the inner cannula regularly, that saves us having to change the whole tube in an emergency. So some tubes have special functions. One of these would be subglottic suction, which is an additional port, which allows us to aspirate some of the secretions that can build up above the cuff and potentially cause pneumonia. Another one would be fenestrations in the top of the tube, which can allow extra airflow through and improve a patient's speech.